Are you a Beyonce? Yeah, I was at the I was at, I was at the uh, Beyonce concert this year. I did. I was there. What was your favorite song? She played a lot. She played a lot of random ones, like a lot of really new ones. But she put on a hell of a show. Did I you was, wear silver? Is the most important question. Did I wear silver? I did. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the memo last minute, and there was like a I don't know. There's a video out there that's pretty crazy of me dancing with a bunch of people that are probably in this room tonight. We had a full okay. dance off to to, okay. to be. Yeah. We'll hunt down the video now. Obviously, SAG Awards, your peers, right? It's a celebration amongst those that you often share the screen with. What do you love most about this award show? You know, I love. The thing I love the most about this award show is, first off, it feels like you're running into a lot of friends, friends that you've worked with before, friends that you hope to work with. Like It's a lot of people, I think, getting geeked out by each other, which is kind of fun. I think the other thing that makes this one particularly like really special is like it feels like people are actually cheering for each other. Sometimes these things can feel like a little, con not contentious, but like you know people are competing. Game on. This one just feels like it's when actors are rooting for each other, that's what set life's about, and I feel like that's what the SAG Awards are about. And two actors that we were rooting for throughout that entire rom-com. You and Sydney. Oh, I mean, yeah. you guys essentially brought back the genre in a major way. I mean, I, I, I hope to see a lot more rom-coms in theaters. That'd be pretty great. What's the next one in the pipeline? Might we see you two team up again? Might we see you in another rom-com anytime I mean, soon? Sydney and I uh, talk every day. We'll see if we can find something really great. But uh, I don't think we're going to pull the trigger until we, we find the perfect bullseye, but we're definitely determined to get back in the, the trenches together. Good things take time. Yeah. One thing that we know is probably happening, Top Gun 3, what can you tell us? <laughs> I, you probably know about as much as I know about That, that. chuckle tells me everything I need to know, which is that you have things you can tell me. You just don't want to. I'll say I still have my hangman flight suit. So, yeah. Okay. So the wardrobe department, if they need to start tomorrow, I'm ready to go. In a perfect world, are we getting another beach scene? Are we maybe playing soccer in a field this time? Will there be baby oil? Shirtless soccer, <laughs> that, that could be great. Uh, the, the, honestly, it'd probably be easier to play soccer covered in baby oil than it would be football. Yes, that's my guess. Exactly. Yeah. I'm completely in agreement with you on that one. And Hitman, you actually yeah. wrote the screenplay for that one, right? Yeah, Richard Linklater and I wrote it together. Um, talk to us a little bit about what we can expect when it releases wide. I mean, that movie really is just such a fun... I mean, Richard Linklater is one of the greatest directors out there. He's played in every genre and every sandbox, and this movie is just a collision of all of his work, and it's just a fun ride. I think, I think audiences, like every festival that we've gone to, audiences just, they just eat it up. It's just, it's made for the audiences, so I'm excited to unleash it on them in May. You have really teamed up with some superstars. I'm curious, who would be your next perfect lead? Ooh, my next perfect yeah, team up? Yeah. Mm, you know, Courtney B. Vance, I just saw back there. I love me, Courtney. Uh, Icon, I would love, uh, you know, Bradley Cooper's just doing some really cool stuff right now. I'd love to be on a Bradley Cooper set. Um, you know, every, this, I, I'm really getting to work with a lot of my heroes right now. I just got to work on Twisters with Daisy Edgar Jones, who I've been such a fan of. It's epic. The movie is so good, and Daisy's incredible. So it's like, you really know a lot about somebody when you're in Oklahoma with them for several months. You know, getting hit in the face by wind machines and dirt and the whole thing. What do you do in Oklahoma when the cameras aren't rolling? Like, how do you pass the time? You get to know someone really well. You're in the back of a truck. You're hanging out. But if I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be, you know, out in the middle of a field with anybody, Daisy Edgar Jones is the perfect one. Yeah, she is. I love when the fellas come and they bring the fashion. So we've got to talk about yeah. the look tonight. Break it down for me. Who are you wearing? What was the inspo? This is uh, Brioni, uh, classic Brioni tux. I loved the, uh, I loved the brown. It felt very unique. And decided to go without the bow tie. Just go a little rock and roll today. I peeped the, the chain underneath oh, the chain. unbuttoned collar. You know, it's all about chest hair and chains today here at the SAG Awards. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Yeah. I thought that was the dress code. I heard about the Beyonce dress code, but I thought it was chest hair and chains. Chest I mean, hair and chains. Be wrong about that. I, I have failed. I have failed. <laughs> I work on my chest hair and chains for the next carpet. We'll have so much fun in there tonight. Thank you so much. Appreciate you.